All right, let's do number 58. In 58, we have a Cadillac, which has 2,000 pound Cadillac, that's moving north with a velocity of three meters per second. And it gets struck by a 1,000 kilogram Volkswagen. This is the Cadillac over here. And it's going, and we don't know what its initial velocity is. They hit and they stick together and they go off at an angle of 35 degrees at some final velocity here. Okay. So what we want to do is find out what the initial velocity of the Volkswagen is when they hit. So to do this we're going to have to use momentum conservation in two dimensions. So we're going to do x direction, the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. But the initial momentum in the x-direction, the Cadillac is all in the y-direction, so it has to be the Volkswagen only. So it's the mass of the Volkswagen times its initial velocity must be equal to the final velocity. Remember, we've got to break this into components. All we care about is the x component here. So we're going to call that VFX. So we're going to say this is M1, or MC, plus the mass of the Volkswagen. It's so mass Cadillac plus mass times VF in the x-direction. All right, we don't know VF in the x-direction. We don't know the initial velocity, so we cannot solve that right there, okay? But I'm going to rearrange this so it just becomes, we're going to solve for that eventually. So we're going to put MC plus mass of the Volkswagen all over the mass of the Volkswagen times VF in the x-direction. All right, so this is the x-direction. In the y-direction, We're going to do the same thing, but the Volkswagen has no momentum in the y direction, so it doesn't count. We only have the Cadillac, so that's times its in initial velocity. We're just, I'm just going to put 3 in there because it's 3 meters per second. And again, this is going to be equal to the sum of the masses, but this is going to be V final in the y direction. Okay. We don't know what that is, but we do know all three of those, so we can solve for that. So we're going to solve for the final velocity in the y direction. We're going to have mc times 3 over mc plus mvw. When I do that, I get the final velocity in the y direction is going to be equal to the mass of the... Um, sorry, that's not m3, that's mc. Mass of the Cadillac, which is 2,000 times 3 over 2,000 plus a thousand on the bottom. When we do that, we get the velocity final in the y direction is going to be, this is going to be 2,000 over 3,000. So it's going to be two thirds where the threes cancel and this is just going to be leaving me with two meters per second. Or you can plug that into your calculator if you want to check it out. But we want to figure out the initial velocity up here, but that's in the x direction. So we've got to figure out what Vfx is. So remember, this is our triangle. The y value is 2 meters per second. We want this. We know the angle. So we're going to use tangent. So the tangent of 35 degrees is going to be equal to 2 over Vfx, opposite over adjacent. So we solve for Vfx, Vfx is going to be equal to 2 over the tangent of 35 degrees. And we get the V final in the x direction is equal to 2.86 meters per second. So now we just plug that back into here to get what the initial velocity is in the y direction. We're going to have up here, I'm going to plug in the numbers, Cadillac is 2,000 plus 1,000 over 1,000 times 2.86. Or the initial velocity is going to be equal to 2 plus 1 is 3,000 over 1,000 is just 3 times 2.86. And you're going to end up with the initial velocity is 8.58 meters per second or 8.6 meters per second with significant figures. That is the answer to number 58. Alright, 